What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchpresentals.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out a brand new extension that allows you to create windows inside of your SketchUp models. If you're looking for more great extensions for architectural modeling, I've created a brand new guide of my top architectural modeling extensions for SketchUp. Um, if you're interested in that, you can check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this week's extension was selected by my supporters on Patreon. So um, one of the perks of supporting the show on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week my patrons voted and they selected Windows Builder from Didier Burr um, as the extension of the week. So you can find this extension by going to the SketchUp extension warehouse. And as you can see, there's information on this extension there. The developer is Didier Burr, and this is a free extension for creating windows inside of your SketchUp models. So I will link to this page in the notes below this video. So tool functions. This tool is designed to help you create windows inside of your SketchUp models. The way that it works is fairly simple. There's a couple different options in here for creating different kinds of windows. So there's a window in here based on, uh, you, you can either create a window by dictating all of your window parameters and then clicking the create button. And there's also an option in here to create a window based on a selected face. And we'll take a look at both of these options. So to start off, let's go ahead and let's extrude a wall up something like 10 feet inside of our model, just as kind of an example. And so let's say we wanted to create a window and put that inside of our wall. So when you first open this up, this gives you a few different options. So for example, if you click this drop down, you have options for a fixed window, a sliding window, there's a French window, and there's a double hung window. So a window that slides up and down. For each one of these window types, you have different options for different things you can adjust in order to create your window. So for example, let's say that we wanted our window to be... So let's say we wanted our window to be 8 foot long by 4 foot high. You would come in here and you would adjust all of these different options for um, the way that this window is going to look. And one other thing that I will link to is I will link to a post by Didier Burr. Um, who's the developer of the extension on Sketchication, where he gives you kind of a, a graphical indicator of what each one of these adjusts. So this is helpful for me to have this open, just so I can kind of see what each one of these settings changes. Um, but he talks a little bit more about that extension in this post. But we'll go ahead and set our sash width and depth to two inches. And notice that you can adjust the material that gets applied to your frame, as well as some other settings in here as well. Um, so like screens and other things like that. One thing you might want to consider is you might want to consider creating a face inside of your model and applying this translucent glass blue material to it um, if you want to use that material. So this list is pulled from the active materials inside of your model. So if you want a specific kind of glass material or something like that to show up on the list, you may want to go ahead and apply that to a face somewhere in your model just to make sure that this list pulls that up. Um, there are a couple options down here at the bottom. Um, one for a glazing option, but if you want a specific kind of glass, you're probably going to want to drop that into your model to make sure this list brings it in. So one thing you're going to want to pay attention to if you really want to cut an opening in this wall where your windows goes is you're going to want to pay attention to this behavior function down here. The behavior function is going to allow you to set what this window does when you place it in your model. So like for example, this one has an option to glue to a face. And so arbitrary means this would glue this to any face that you put your mouse over. You could also set this to be to the horizontal, vertical, um, whatever in here. So you can set that to glue this to a face, which is going to be important if you're going to use this last option to punch a hole in a, in a wall. And one odd thing about this is you don't actually want to check this box for cuts opening if you're going to use that tool, um, because then it's not going to move your window inside of this wall. So for right now, I would recommend not checking this box. And just when you place your window, you can use this other tool in order to cut your opening. So the way this works is once you create your window, you can click the create and place button like this. And you're going to notice that this doesn't actually cut an opening in your wall. And note that my wall right now is just raw geometry. Um, this doesn't seem to work very well on group geometry. Um, 
but we'll talk about that in a second. So, but for right now, what I have is I have this, this window that's glued to this wall. Well, now if I click on the window, and then I click on this button for wall puncher, what that's gonna do is that's gonna cut an opening using this window into that wall and it's gonna punch a hole. So this can be really helpful for placing windows inside of your walls really quickly. One thing to note about that is you can't like undo that really quickly. So, and it doesn't really update either. So if you wanna move this around, probably what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna end up manually moving some geometry as well. Um, it definitely works and I don't really find it to be that difficult of a workflow. You just note that making changes with this can be a little bit tricky. So on the other hand, if I was to undo this, and I was to group this and try to do the same thing, you'll notice that it'll cut an opening, but it won't actually move your window inside of that opening. So that's just something to be aware of, is this really seems to work best on raw geometry right now. Um, so this other option in here, the second option is a, a polygonal window. What this allows you to do is this allows you to create a window based on a shape that you draw on a face. Meaning if you were to draw this shape in here and then uh, select the second option with this face selected, that's gonna allow you to create a window um, that's just basically a frame with glass inside of it. And we'll go ahead and we'll adjust these sash options, we'll leave our glazing. You can set your glazing to either be simple, double, or triple pane. Um, so you can adjust those options in here. And uh, if we go ahead and we create and place this one, you can see how that actually gets placed inside of my wall. Um, it automatically cuts an opening in your wall. And I haven't really tested this, but as long as you set this to the width of your wall, um, your window is gonna sit in this opening really nicely. Um, on the other hand, if I was to come in here and I was to adjust this so that my frame depth was less than my wall, because this is a six inch wall assembly, that still creates your window, but it just kind of recesses it in the opening to fit inside of that wall. So this can be a really good option for creating these simple windows that have just kind of a uh, frame around the outside and then glass in the middle. So one other nice thing about these windows is if you were to come in here and take a section cut like you were creating um, like you were creating plans in layout, um, these windows look really good on the section cuts for uh, the way that your windows need to look in order to create those plans. So if I turn parallel projection on, so if you go in and look at these windows, you can see how you get a great window profile in here for your uh, for your plans if you're going to create plans inside of layout. So that's where I'm going to end this video. As you can see, this is a pretty simple extension, but it definitely is a lot faster than creating your windows manually inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Um, can you see this being helpful? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're newer around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.